You know, she makes a good point. What are we gonna do tonight? And yes, I am wearing pajamas right now. I'm wearing a zebra onesie. So today's video, as you can tell by the title, is how to have the best sleepover ever. I actually filmed this with one of my best friends, Olivia. She has a YouTube channel. She just started. She does comedy videos. She has such funny humor, and we filmed a little comedy video over there. So please make sure to check it out. It's linked right down below. Let's try to get Olivia to 1,000 subscribers. That is our goal. So please go subscribe and check out her channel. I also want to give a huge thank you to the Dote Shopping app for sponsoring this video. They're seriously so amazing and they sent me some amazing clothes that I'm going to show you guys really quickly because it's like I'm talking to one of my best friends just like I would at a sleepover or something so I thought it would be a perfect little way to intertwine this into the video if that makes any sense. Dote is an app where you can save all your favorite stores and look at all of them from one app. You don't have to go to all these different shopping websites and stuff. Dote has it all there for you. You can select your favorite stores and they always notify you when there are lots of deals and stuff. So I can't wait to show you guys everything that they sent me. They were so nice so I want to give a huge thank you to them again. One of my favorite stores is Brandy Melville, so I'm going to show you guys what I got from there. I got this super, super cute light blue sweater, and it's really baggy, and I love it so much. The next thing I got from Brandy Melville was this top. It's a map of California. I got this top, and I absolutely love it. It's a cropped gray top, and it has this little detailing right here. And lastly, from Brandy Melville, I got another same type of top. It's this white one that I've been wanting for such a long time, and I can't wait to wear it as well with high waisted shorts. Moving on to some Urban Outfitters clothes. The first shirt I have right here is so cool. I love it. It's called a Future State Wave Tee. I've had my eye on this next shirt for such a long time, and I'm so thankful that they gave this to me. It's actually a shirt that says Kale on it. Then from Urban Outfitters, I also got this cute tank top. It has little cactus embroidery on it, and it says Take It Easy, which I absolutely love. And lastly, from Urban Outfitters, I got these stick-on acrylic nails. It's like this cool marbly design on the nails. Then I got a shirt from Free People. So this shirt is gray and it has this really really pretty rhinestone detailing on here and I absolutely love this. The quality is so amazing. And the last thing for this little mini haul is this highlight from ColourPop. I've always wanted to try out a highlight and this is my first one and it works so well. I'm actually wearing it right now. I don't know if you guys can tell. If you guys want to download the Dote Shopping app, I'm going to have a coupon code and the link in the description down below so make sure to go download that. Big thank you to Dote for sending me all these wonderful things. So that is for this haul. I'm sorry if this intro was super long, but I really wanted to show you all these things I got and hope you guys enjoyed the video and let's get started. The first thing you can do at a sleepover is to make a DIY, anything you really want, but we decided to make some DIY sleeping eye masks. So you're gonna wanna start out with some felt. I actually found some heart-shaped felt at Target and it was the perfect shape for an eye mask but you could easily use regular felt. So I just started out by cutting out the shape of what an eye mask looks like, kinda like the foundation. And once you do that, you can take some other colors of felt, whatever your preference, and just start cutting out little embellishments that you wanna put on your mask. However you wanna decorate it, I decided to do kind of like a blinking eye because I thought it looked kinda Tumblr, but when I think about it, it's kinda creepy and as you go you can just keep gluing on your pieces of felt and you can really do whatever you want here whatever design the possibilities are endless get creative and once you have finished decorating it you can take another piece of felt and line up your eye mask and cut out the exact shape of that because we're going to be gluing these together and filling it up with some filling Next, you're just going to glue both pieces of eye mask felt together, making sure to leave one hole open to fill it up with some stuffing or rice. This part is optional, but I wanted to do this to give my eyes some more padding, make them more comfortable, and then obviously just glue up that hole because I'm pretty sure you don't want rice everywhere. Oh, baby, I love your madness. And to finish everything off, I just took some strong glue and glued that to a piece of ribbon. You could also use elastic, but just take a piece the size that is needed to wrap it around your head, and then you're finished with your eye masks. I think these are so adorable and a perfect thing to make for a sleepover. I think it'd be perfect at a sleepover party. Everyone can make their own, and they also work to, you know, keep the light out of your eyes when you're sleeping, so it's kind of like a win-win situation. You can get cute pictures with this, and I just really love how these turned out, and you guys should definitely try these out at your sleepover. Give me your
Another super fun thing to do at a sleepover is watch a movie with your friend. Here I am throwing pillows at Olivia because I'm just a wonderful friend. And then we just had um, a ratchet pillow fight. Um, we were acting like we were toddlers, but we just set up this cute little cozy corner in my room with a bunch of pillows and blankets, got comfortable, and we searched up some movies on Netflix and online. And we personally like watching super cheesy movies and we like making fun of them together. That's just something we've always done. But you could also watch a romantic comedy a sad movie, a scary movie, whatever your preference is, and it's just super fun to sit back, relax, and watch a movie with your friends. Oh, 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 oh. I don't know about you guys, but I love baking treats and stuff with my friends, especially at sleepovers, and whenever I'm with my friends, we always get hungry, especially late at night, so this is something really fun that I like to do. We actually found a Pinterest recipe for some chocolate chip cookie bowls, and we wanted to test it out and see how it works. I'm going to put a picture just so you can see what it's supposed to turn out like, but you could honestly make whatever type of recipe you want, and it's just fun to play around in the kitchen and just make some yummy food and see how it turns out in the end, because because as you can see, our cookie bowls completely failed and this was definitely an example of a Pinterest fail. But the good news is the cookie bits that fell off the pan still tasted amazing. Like we were eating these all night long and they were just so good. So it's super fun to bake with your friends and you get some yummy food afterwards. Another sleepover idea is to have a mini spa night and for me, I love painting my nails but you could also do face masks or anything you want. So I started out by printing this spin the bottle sheet that I found on Google and I'm going to have that linked down below. And I just picked out some of my favorite nail polishes, you and your friend can pick whatever colors you want. And if you're indecisive like us, this is a perfect little game that you guys can do. I actually recommend it for sleepovers with younger kids because I think this would be super fun for a huge slumber party. So after you finish picking out all your nail polishes, you can either take a little spinny thing that you find in board games if you know what I mean. But we didn't have one so I was really ratchet and just took some pointy sticky notes. And all you're going to do is line up your nail polishes all around the spin the bottle sheet and spin your little wheel but I mean obviously I'm just spinning a sticky note so just keep that in mind it'd be better if it were a wheel and you spin it and whatever one it lands on you choose that nail polish to paint with and this just helps you decide and I think it's just a fun little activity to do obviously it probably wouldn't take as long to just pick a color but I thought this was something different it changes things up a little bit it's unique and I just wanted to show you in case you want to do this at your slumber party and I think it's a perfect little game to have on a mini spot <laughs> My last idea for you guys to have on a sleepover is to do a viral challenge and Olivia and I decided to do the yoga challenge. Just be safe with your challenges. Don't do anything dangerous. So we just looked up some yoga pose pictures online and there are so many to choose from and then the moment of truth comes. We looked at the picture and tried to recreate it and I think it'd be really fun if you guys filmed this either for YouTube or for yourselves and we just had a good old time laughing and making a fool of ourselves and this is just one of the best things to do at a sleepover. Just having fun with your friend and acting silly. So this is super fun and I definitely recommend doing something similar to this. So that was it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below for more videos. If you're having a sleepover right now, I hope you and your friends have an amazing time and let me know in the comments down below if you guys try any of these ideas out that you saw in this video. Also, please remember to go download the Dote Shopping app because like I said, they're amazing. You can get so many awesome clothes on there. And I think that's all I have to say for this video. Thank you guys so much again for watching. I love you so much and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye!